home decor haul. I first want to apologize for the lighting. Once I stop buying home decor, I will actually be able to afford some lighting. You can kind of tell behind me I finally did get my desk in this house and I'm kind of working on a vanity setup right in this general area. So a few quick little announcements before I get into it. I am going to cosmetology school. Um, if you follow my blog at all, um, I did put a post on there about that. Um, I'm very excited. After about three, three and a half years of going for my nursing degree, I finally just decided it is not for me. Um, it's not my thing. I'm a creative individual. This is truly something I'm good at and I like doing. Um, you know, the beauty thing. And so that is what I have decided to do. You can read all about it in my blog. Um, it's just something I'm really excited about and I wanted to throw out there for a lot of you that don't follow me on other social media. You can read about that there. So I'm really excited. Um, I think it's definitely going to help my channel out a lot. I'll be able to share a lot more things with you guys um, from a more credible standpoint, I guess you could say. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, when I first moved in here, um, basically I moved into a huge bachelor pad with beer, posters on the wall. My boyfriend and our roommate, they both work for the same company. They work for a beer distributor, so they're constantly bringing home beer posters and beer and all this stuff. We literally have a bookshelf full of beer bottles. Like, really guys? So anyway, since I've been in here, I've been trying to add a little bit of decor. Um, I don't want to totally like overtake the house. I'm trying to put my little twist on things too. So I've been obviously buying a lot of home decor stuff. This is where we are and let's just jump right into it because I got some huge, 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 huge like discounts and found some sales and stuff so and then after I show you like what I've initially bought like recently I'll take you kind of around the house and show you what I've done so far out there so let's just jump right in okay so first I'm gonna jump in and start with the things that I bought yesterday um, if any of you guys know what Hobby Lobby is it's kind of an arts and craft home decor type store but really when I go shopping for home decor things I usually just gravitate towards Hobby Lobby Target or Pier 1, which are totally like random off the wall places, but usually that's just where I go. So a lot of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. They have a sale going on right now. I'm pretty sure it's all locations. 80% off a lot of stuff. Now my friend told me about it and I was like, I'm coming home. I'll be there. I'm coming tomorrow morning. Let's go. <laughs> I got this little guy. Um, this is just a little mirror. It has a little stand on the back so you can set it on a desk or whatever. Um, I really really like this mirror. I think it's just beautiful. I like the Victorian type of whatever it has going on. I do think the gold is a little dark for me. Um, if I do use it on my vanity set or wherever I'm going to throw it, I think I may spray paint it like a brighter, like more vibrant gold color instead of like the old rustic looking gold. But anyway, I thought this was super cute so I picked it up. This was originally $20 and I got this for $4.20. So that is one of the things I picked up. Super cute, it'll probably go on my vanity. I also bought a lot of things from my wall because our walls are very bare in here. This was a little thingamajig I got. It's just like a little metal leaf looking thing. Um, really cute, I think it'll go in like the bathroom or something like that. It's just a little thing to pop on the wall. Can you see that? Like it's just like a little leaf, metal leaf. This was originally $20 and I got it for $4. That's really cute, so that'll probably go on the bathroom wall or something along the hallway or you know, it's not like a centerpiece by any means, but it'll go cute somewhere in the house. <laughs> and it was $4. Again, like a lot of this stuff I picked up, I was just like, it's $4. I'll find a place for you. I also got a lot of like little candle holders, like things like this. And I don't have a matching piece for it. They didn't have like a littler piece. Like, you know, there's usually a tall piece and a little piece. But um, again, this I got for $5.20. The original price was $26. So it's just something I picked up. And the detailing is really pretty on that too. So let's hope you can kind of see that and that we're in focus. It was cheap, so I bought it and I will find a place for it. I did get more candle holders. Now this set did actually come with a big piece and a little piece like I was talking about. Um, so these I think I'm going to put in the living room somewhere, if you can kind of see that. Um, the detailing is really pretty on these. I really, really like it. It does have little detailing on the bottom as well. Um, I will have to find candles to kind of go along with this color scheme, but um, that shouldn't be a problem. Candles aren't too expensive. So anyway, we have our little piece and our baby piece, or our, our big piece and our baby piece. Yeah, right? This bigger one was $28, and I got it for $5.60, and the little piece was $25, and I got him for $5. 
So there's those, and those will probably go, we have a little shelf above our fireplace, so those will probably go there once I find candles for them, so yay! Those are super cute. So another little kind of random thing, um, I kind of want this like somewhere in or around my vanity set behind me when I get it up and together. Um, it's just a cute little glass vase, which is blue. Um, I want to do mostly like white and black color scheme back there and maybe a pop of color, so maybe we'll just do the blue as the pop of color. Um, put a little flower in here, like a little white daisy or something, like a little fake flower. So that was cute. Again, it was just something that was super cheap. It was on sale for $9.52 and went on sale again for $5, and this was originally $28. So huge deals, you guys. If you have a Hobby Lobby, you need to find one and drive there right now. Maybe they have an online sale too, so be sure to check online. I'll try and find the link and leave it below. Picture frames. Um, I do want, this isn't new, but these two are. These, I don't know if this will come off how big these are, but these are big picture frames. This is a 8x10 picture frame. I don't have any 8x10s, but I'm gonna find some to put in here. So this is just a cute little white frame. This is a frame you hang. It doesn't have a um, stand with it, but it's just super cute and um, simple kinda, and I like it. So that'll go somewhere and we'll find a picture to put it in. This is a lot of stuff I have to just like figure out where I'm gonna put it, but super cute frame. This frame was originally $40 and I got it for $8. So super cheap, you guys. And then this frame is even bigger. This is an 11 by 14. It is huge and this was originally a $40 frame and I got it for $8. So Again, there's no stand. It's something you have to hang. Super cute, huge frame. And again, I'll have to find something to put in there. Probably quotes, like some type of cute quote or something I find online. The last thing I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. So this is a huge just wall piece. It's a, like an iron wall piece and it comes with these. I don't have them in there yet because they're very breakable. They come with these little candle holders which is a really cute color and it goes really well. It would match perfectly in my living room. So this is just something super cute. It has the little um, emblem in the middle and um, it's very heavy. Like this isn't cheap stuff either. Like it's really good quality stuff. Yeah, I really really liked it and it's just it was cheap, guys. Like it was so inexpensive. So I was like, you know what, if this is this is the time to buy stuff, right? So it comes with about six, seven, eight of these little guys that sit in here and you can put candles in there. Um, this was originally $80. This is an $80 piece and I got it for $16. That is the last thing I got on sale at Hobby Lobby. I also did find a few things that weren't on sale that of course I had to buy. Um, by the way, all of this together on the on sale items only cost me about $50. So, um, that's a lot of stuff for 50 bucks, you know. A lot of it was just $5, $4, $8, so nothing really over 10 The only thing I bought over 10 was that big metal piece, and it was only 16 So, all that cost me about $50. Um, the rest of the stuff I got, I have two more items I picked up yesterday that weren't on sale. The first one was these little elephants. They're so cute. They're just like little elephants and a heart in the middle. This could go on the little mantle above our fireplace as well. Um, I don't know yet. This one was $13, so I kind of had a, an issue buying a $13 little elephant after I spent, got all this stuff for like five bucks, but it was really cute, so I figured I would pick it up. Plus, I was looking online before I went, and I was like, oh, that's really cute, and I found it, so I was like, mm, I'm probably going to buy it. So super cute. I love like little elephants and frogs and owls, and if it's cute, I buy it. The last thing I picked up that was not on sale is this big thing. This is like a wood. It's wood on the back. It's like, actually it's all wood. I thought it was canvas, but it's not. This is all wood, a wooden piece, and it says love on it. It's actually pretty big. It's a decent size. This I picked up for $40, but it was really cute, so I really like it. And this, like, I like the gold kind of accent in here, so which is like with that mirror I showed you, the very first item I showed you, I really want to make it more of a brighter um, gold color, and maybe it could go in the vanity set, so this is really cute. Like I said, I don't know if it's going to go in the vanity, but it'll go somewhere um, in the house. So I really liked it, and it was really cute, so I bought it. The last stuff that I picked up, these are from Target, and this stuff was kind of expensive, only because I got a bunch of baskets. Baskets are expensive, man. I went to Target, and I bought three 
of these little guys. They were 20, I think 20 or $25 a piece. So they were expensive, but it's like, I need these. Our house is a mess. We need baskets. So I bought three of these. I'll kind of show you here in a second what that looks like in the closet. Um, and I just have little t-shirts. I have a hoodie like kind of rolled up all up in here. So just to kind of, when you open up the closet, it looks nice and clean. I have three baskets. So again, these were about 20 to 25. And then the other thing, and I have two of these. I bought two little wall shelves that look like, they'd obviously look like this on the wall. These are the Target like Threshold brand. These were $14.99 a piece. And they're the picture ones. So like, if this is hanging on the wall, I can throw a picture in there. And it like sits, there's like a little stopper right here. So it sits in there really nicely, like picture frames and stuff. So I have two of these. So together that cost me about 30 bucks. Um, but I thought it'd be cute for especially behind the vanity. So this is probably going to be behind me, that or above our computer area, which is over off in this corner. So that is everything I've purchased in the last like two days. So um, really quickly, I will take you around my house and show you kind of the stuff I've already decorated um, so you guys can get a kind of an idea. And then eventually, once I get all this stuff in its home, um, I can do an updated um, home decor like everything hung up and nice and I can show you that kind of stuff So let's quickly run around my house and I'll show you what I have so far And then here's what I was talking about with the baskets when you're kind of standing back and the doors are open You know, that's really all you see is those three baskets. It looks nice and it looks clean um, This is kind of what I was talking about that. I don't like I don't like that just hanging out when you open the closet looking a mess so this just looks very nice and clean and organized so here is another little thing that I've decorated since I've been in this house. Um, you guys have seen this as a backdrop in one of my videos. Here's obviously the famous mirror that has always been behind me in my tutorials and videos and everything. It was on my vanity for quite a long time. So that's where that mirror has gone. And then here is my vase that has also been kind of in a backdrop um, that is now in here. Um, again, this mirror is from Hobby Lobby and this vase is the mother of pearl vase it's from pier one and all of the fillers are from pier one as well so you have these little twisted um stick things and then these little beaded ones as well so that's what's in there and that is in our living room kitchen area these sconces are from pier one and the candles are also from pier one those were about 25 a piece i believe the vase was about a hundred the fillers they're like you know 13 to 10 dollars there's a few in there um, and the mirror I got on sale also at Hobby Lobby. I believe I got it for half off. I think it was a $150 mirror. I got it for like 80 or 75 on sale. So seriously, keep an eye out on Hobby Lobby because they have sales all the time and you can get cute stuff like this. So then we move over here into the kitchen. So these little things in this corner, I got these two like vegetable oil things I got from Hobby Lobby as well. Those are about maybe 20 a piece ish, something around there. This candle smells really good and I got that from Target for about ten dollars and then this is my little Scentsy Owl it's just a plug-in and it lights up like that when you want the oil or the wax to melt on top um, so that's really cute and it makes the house smell really really good so that's what I have going on over there the Scentsy I got in a gift set and like I said those things over there whatever that you want to call them are from Hobby Lobby as well these two are relatively new I actually bought these like last week these are from Pier 1 these little owls and they do have like little jewels on them like these are all little jewels on both of them they're like little iron guys the tall one was 50 and I believe this one was 40 or 45 I don't have the tags anymore but these were just way too cute to pass up so I got those and then this is just a little oil diffuser that I got from Pier One. Oh, I don't know what the scent is it's the red one though and it smells amazing it seriously smells so good this is the second one I've bought and I will always have one in my house I think they smell so freaking good so good and then we move down here. These are um, pretty recent too. I got two of these little placemats. They're just gold beaded placemats. These are from Pier 1. Um, our counter just looked super dull and boring. These were $19.95 from Pier 1. And I always tell the boys they can't actually get them messy because I can't clean them. <laughs> so those are cute. Those are just something to kind of spice up the table a little bit. These um, have been here for a while. This little glass plate is from Target. The rocks are also just fillers, like um, vase fillers from Target. 
And um, these little balls, each and every one of them, are from Hobby Lobby. So look how cute these are. They're really, really cute. All of them are from Hobby Lobby, and I got those on sale as well. I think each one was about five, four or five dollars, except this one was a little cheaper because there's nothing to it. But that is what's going on in our kitchen. So. so there you have it, guys. That is my home decor haul and kind of what I've done with the place so far. Once I get all this stuff up, if you guys want to see, um, you know, what I've done with the house, how I've decorated with all this stuff, let me know. I can do kind of like a follow-up. I will leave the link for Hobby Lobby in the bottom bar. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, finally, I've got another video up, and I will see you guys next time.